Well, good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to Retired for Life. So we are back to work on the uh, off-grid cabin. So I'm picking up here where Chris left off. He cut all our floorboards to length, but now I want a uniform width on them. So I'm putting them all back up in the mill, which was the plan all along, and taking a little skim off of both sides. So I'm gonna get my height set up, take one cut off of one side of all of them, and then uh, put them back in the mill and take another cut, lowering it down a bit. So all of my floorboards should then be pretty darn close to the same. And that should take out any warp that the boards developed over the time that they've been drying. So they've had lots of time to dry, which is good. They'll be nice and dry and hopefully shouldn't react anymore. Fingers crossed after this. Basically, we're putting together a kit for the uh, floor, so our, our pieces will be pretty much all cut to at least length, and then we'll go down and start assembling everything. But I am starting to run out of room for where to put all the pieces to the kit. My plan is to eventually get this one tent down there, and that's where all my lumber for the cabin will get stored and that will get it out of here. It's kind of an eyesore up here. You can see it very easily coming in from the driveway. All right, so let's get the machine fired up and get to cutting. That sun is out and it really makes it warm up here on top of this big rock. All right, that didn't take long. That's all the four foot ones done. Now we've got to go get the eight footers. folks so there is all our floorboards for our off-grid cabin kit so these will go down and I'm gonna set them up on sawhorses outside 
uh, down by one of the storage domes and that is where we will set up for planing. So we will plane one side of these. But it is getting on, so that's going to be it for today. And we will see you in the morning. Well, good morning folks. We're ready to get back to work here. So I've decided to bring my setup for planing these floorboards to the outside. Just gonna be that much nicer. It is a beautiful day out here. We got a little bit of shade left. So we're gonna get all these boards through. Now I debated whether or not to even bother planing them considering what this building is. And if you look here, I'll show you. You can see how nicely these boards stack up. Now, if they were not really close in size, there's no way they'd still be even on the top here when you've got this many stacked. And that's what we got. You know, it's really close. But I do want to have one side finished. So, you know, close or not, even with it being close, that's just going to mean it's going to be that much quicker to actually uh, plane them down. So we're going to uh, get them planed with the uh, crown side up and get everything started up and going. And that'll be another step towards having the kit for the floor of the off-grid cabin complete. We've got just a little bit more to do after that. And then the whole bunch will be ready to actually take down to the site. All right, let's get things started up and going. So you can see here this buildup that's starting to show up on the plate. And when that happens, you're not going to get your boards to go through. So I will have to stop periodically when I see that and clean it off and then keep going. All right, I will bring you guys back as soon as I've got all of these boards through. And I think that's going to take a little while. All right, see you soon. All right, there we are, folks. Our floorboards are complete. They're uh, edged, 
and now planed on one side. Yeah, that gave us a little bit of debris out here. One of the reasons I uh, moved everything out here to do this, because all I need to do is just take this now and rake it into the low spots, and uh, that's it. It's completely biodegradable, and having it out here just makes for a nice fill and helps keep things dry in front of the tractor shed, which is perfect. All right, we're gonna clean this up, go for lunch, and then get on to the last step of getting the kit for the floor ready to go. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying today's video, and if you have, I'd really appreciate the like, and I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, if you got any comments, suggestions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you. All right, let's get back to work. All right, folks, so we're getting pieces gathered together for the off-grid cabin floor kit. So we've got that much there. And now I'm just working on the three pieces for the front, the back, and the middle. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to put a bottom plate on these three. So this bottom plate that I'm putting on these will uh, be for the joists. They'll come down and sit on this, and these plates will be held in place with nails and with very long wood screws. All right, let's get these three done, and then we'll have all our pieces ready to go. So I've got to leave room for my six inch square support posts that will be going at either end, which is why I'm back eight inches here. Um, and my first joist starts around here, so it's going to be well onto the plate. So let's get this first one in and move on from there. So this, this is for basically the center wall. This is the wall that goes between the uh, front wall of the cabin and the porch. And then there's another four feet on the outside of it. Folks, there it is. The floor kit is now complete. So I'm going to throw a tarp over this for now, and then the next step will be to get down to the site and spread a little straw and get some boards down on the ground in order to take this down there and stack it and cover it. All right, folks, we had a very uh, foggy start to the morning this morning, and the weather is going to change. So. My goal today is to uh, get our off-grid cabin floor kit down to the site and uh, just laying there on some uh, pressure treated boards and get it covered up. So we're gonna put the camera on the uh, ATV, run down to the site and do a quick survey to get a roughly uh, laid out spot where the cabin is going to go and then hook the big trailer up and bring it back here and start loading this up all right all right this is going to be very scientific not <laughs> All 
All right, so we're gonna put the trailer on, um, but we're gonna come back with the uh, tractor and the grader blade, because I wanna give this a little, uh, a little scrape out here before we bring the, uh, the wood down and cut this edge back a little bit too. All right, you know, it looks big. It really looks big. I was initially thinking uh, 10 by uh, 10 by 10. But the uh, kit is already cut. We do have the room and I've got a nice spot over there where I can put uh, a solar array. So let's stop worrying about it. Get the trailer hooked up. All right, there's the first load. Let's get this down there. All right, we're here. Now I just have to figure out where I'm gonna put this stuff. All right, I'll do some measuring. We'll figure it out. Well, I was gonna put it right beside where the building's gonna go, but I've changed my mind on that a bit. I've come across a couple of rocks that I wanna dig out. And I've got a nice clear spot over here. So I think that's where I'm gonna pile everything. And I can get the whole kit in this one spot and that should work very nicely. All right, let's unload. Those beams that I built have really gotten heavy. Oh. Let's go get the floorboards and our tarp. And we'll get our uh, our camera in place. So it's good to get this much down here and out of the way. And I know that the uh, weather is coming in, so I'm glad to get this out of the yard up there and down here and get it all covered up. And we'll be good to go. And then we can do a little bit more grading over there because I did come down with the tractor to trim out the edge of the campsite and of course found a big rock so we got to put the backhoe and the grapple back on the tractor and come down and deal with that because I do want that out of there. So that's going to be it for today's video folks. I hope you're uh, finding these videos interesting and if you are please don't forget to give them a like and share them around. And I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. That's really helping. It's making a huge difference. So remember to stay safe out there. Be good to each other. And we will see you out on the trails the next time. Mm -hmm.